So all of a sudden we see a, a, a much flatter, much closer world within which we will see investments uh, that will of course deflate, unfortunately, the trading figures because if you make 15 billion days direct investment in the US in 2009, there will be a lot of trade between our two countries that will never appear because it will be locally US grown and produced. So don't worry that all your jobs are moving to China. They are not. There are many companies in Europe that are investing in the US for good, obvious reasons. The biggest Danish employer in the US is a company called Mask. They probably employ 20,000 US citizens. It's the world's largest shipping company. They made quite a number of investments on the East Coast and West Coast. The last investment, I think, was more than a billion dollar investment in Virginia, state of Virginia, Cosmos, Terminal, state of the art of the world. The same as they would make in, make in China. The only worry we would have is the political system that the legislators represent. Is the US political system, I would think, hopefully, but able to produce the ensuing adequate infrastructure that will make such a big terminal with such a huge capacity of containers in and out automatized be fully utilized in the time to come so that the rail, the rail system, the, 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 the motor highways and all the other features you need logistically to really make such an investment really profitable will be uh, taken care of. We think so, we hope so, and, and so far uh, so good. Just a few examples of, 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 of that and then I would, I would say that for us uh, creating a, a Scandinavian welfare society, of course, has been a target and objective. But also, as the citizen said, you couldn't do that. Have such a lavish, generous, modern welfare society with so much equality without a very dynamic private sector. So we try to make our companies really enjoy the best business environment in the world. Forbes ranks us having the best business environment. Economists, they tell you the same. So we would actually think that we have a better, easier, sort of capitalistic, dynamic society than even yours. We can hire and fire easier than you can here in the US. We probably even have much less bureaucracy and red tape when we make investments and purchase things. When I got here five years ago, I wanted to buy a car, it took me three hours. In Denmark, I would just go and pick a car and I would write a check and I would be out of the shop in 10 minutes. Here they wanted to sit me down, and I always got worried when people asked me to sit down. <laughs> I never sit down if I can stand up. I, I'm, I'm always out of the shop quicker than I get in. Here I have to spend three hours buying a normal car. Uh, so it's just a very, very simple consumer view of, 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 of your, 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 what you think is a very effective sector. Oh no, it can be much easier and better. And don't worry, this, this is not about consumer safety. We have exactly the same consumer <coughs> safety and confidence. You have had so many, I think, brilliant lawyers that had so great impact on your legislature that you have, I, I, I would be very kind to you, bureaucratized your consumer safety to a degree that is complicated to enjoy consumer safety. We, we build on a lot of confidence building measures, but of course also rule of law and, 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 and make sure that the, legal documents are okay. Uh, Danes would, by the way, do not know what waivers are. My wife now, after five years in the US, she's an expert in waivers because you have to be, if you have three kids going around in the society, you have to sign so many different types of waivers. And we Danes get worried. What is this all about? What is it that's going back to haunt us if you don't sign all these waivers? Uh, but just a few examples, kind examples of where I think your society should be careful not to have a too legalistic view of what is actually very much needs to be a confidence-built economy within which you of course have to make business thrive, otherwise you don't have those big incomes and wealth to tax and make sure that you have a good uh, productive public sector within which you can have the best uh, use attracted hopefully. Uh, welfare is of course obviously we us linked to education and health. Uh, you cannot have uh, an economy so small as ours, five and a half million. Uh, on average, we have $56,000, of the last figures I could found. The US is a completely uncomparable entity to Denmark, uh, because you have 300 million. You have $46,000 per capita in the last OECD statistics. But you couldn't have that kind of standard of living as we have without making sure the welfare defined by health and education is really top notch. You have to make sure that the human capital of your society, which is the only capital we, by the way, in Denmark possesses, 
has to be really taken good care of and, and really optimized. Not in the way that, that, that you would do it here in the US, you would say you want to lead the world, but just making sure that you use all the talents, get the lower part of society up to that high average. That is the key because then you really have a very competitive entity for the global puzzle within which you have to play for the future. There are no European countries who believe that you can sort of hide behind the European Union, external walls, customs, tariffs, it's all gone. We, we, we try to be a competitive, globally uh, modern entity that wants to see where our advantages are. Of course, in the future, we Danes believe that it is very much in the energy field, green jobs, but also across the sectors, across the board, we would probably have companies in almost all sectors, small companies, viable in their small niche, realizing that they should not expand their portfolio too big, too vast, but, but it's exactly try to be maybe one of the three best in their small niche. Uh, let me stop here and, and say that.